Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Clive Barker's Undying. Jammed. Last time, we uh, made it through and found uh, Kaisinger's room and then kind of traveled to another dimension just for a little bit. Hurt herself a cool dragon hand that has a little bit of indigestion and uh, shoots ice balls. Uh, so a little bit of housekeeping real quick. Uh, it's a bit dark here, so I am, I think, just going to come over here and we're just going to touch the brightness up by like one notch see if that improves things a little bit maybe makes it a little easier to watch um, and then we'll go from there I guess see how things progress additionally I think I know how to uh, how we sh how we were supposed to get past Aaron's ghost there um, it's not what I want to want this uh, yeah I think we we're supposed to use the Ghostbuster trap that we picked up previously that would have I think this probably would have uh, sucked him in for a bit, so we could have gotten past him to grab that uh, stone. That's just a hunch. I don't know for sure. I haven't gone back and tested it. And I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> we're just going to have to accept that we, yeah, we're going to miss some stuff. Being that this uh, is a game that I've never played before. Alright, so, in theory, we should be able to find ourselves a groundskeeper out here somewhere. Well, budge. Good to be outside again, I guess. Every time that it does that, it makes me think that it's uh, going to do something fishy. All right, so there's no going back that way. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I just killed the groundskeeper by accident. <laughs> yep. That's what happens when you uh, kill someone you're not supposed to. I think I just missed... There we go. I think I got his attention, at least. Oh, and he still died. But it, I didn't kill him, so it's okay. Okay, let's try again. Let's see if we can actually get it. Probably be easier if I use this, maybe. He's content to just sit there, I guess. Okay, he's out of here. I guess he's got nothing to say for himself. Where are you going, my man? Just gonna walk it off, huh? Just trim those hedges, sure. It's very, uh, polygonal shape you've got going on there. He's got, he just literally, man, has nothing to say to me. He's just saved his life, not even a thank you. Okay, nothing going on in uh, the pools here, I guess. Huh, well. That's not what I expected to happen there. Check that, let's check that journal. Nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much of anything going on in here, so we'll uh, move on. Oh, there's lots of groundskeepers. Okay, I see. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. What are you doing here? Just tell me where that trail heads off to. Bethany used to go horseback riding in the hills, but that was so long ago. I uh, didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> um, let, let me try that again. I, uh... Whoa. That was, uh, that was a little weird. It's my mouse being crazy for a sec there. Uh, yeah, sorry, I just, um, volume is a little bit low. Let's try that again. What are you doing here? Just tell me where that trail heads off to. Bethany used to go horseback riding in the hills, but that was so long ago. Bethany used to go horseback riding in the hills, but that was so long oh, budge. ago. We need Bethany's gate key. All right. Stuck. Surely, I could hop this fence. The easiest thing I ever did. But I guess the game's not going to let me. All right, well, fair enough. 
Um, so there's not really much else for us to do. <laughs> Over here, anyway, it seems like. If I have to cut one more shrub. I got bad news for you, man. That is uh, literally your job, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll go back the other direction. Kind of checked everything in here, I think. So we can rule that out and go uh, over here, I guess. So we came out that door. This gate doesn't open. What about this door? Stuck. No, okay. Oh, there's another guy right here. What can you tell me about Lisbeth? I've seen her. I've seen poor Lisbeth on the heather. When? I was coming back to the manor one evening, and I saw a silhouette perched atop a hill. At first, I thought it was a banshee, but I caught a glimpse of her face by the family mausoleum. It was Lisbeth, poor dear. Family mausoleum? It's to the west of the main house, through the trees. Is that near the standing stones, by chance? Standing stones? You have no need to go out there. There's nothing but bad luck and suffering for all who visited the island. I'll unlock the gate to the outer grounds, but I assure you that venturing out to the standing stones will lead to no good. So in other words, we got to go to the Standing Stones. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So I guess that was the groundskeeper. He's unlocked that for me. Won't budge. That does not open. Oh, we got a map, finally. Interesting. Well, we're somewhere new, at least. That's cool. Very cool. Out of the mansion and into the... The mausoleum. It's actually probably going to get <laughs> decidedly less cool very soon. It's got a steady stream of birds coming out of here, huh? Oh, no, those are bats. Those are the maybe the bats that Aaron was writing about. You're more of a meal than a man. <laughs> well, she's having a fantastic time. Um, can't get through that way. I guess we're going to have to go around and chase her. She's got big old beast claws, which, um, tracks with what we've heard about her behavior as a kid. Let's just, uh, drop into the, uh, the void there. Anything back here? Let me go ahead and see that's a that's a no. Can I can I edge walk in this game? I'm gonna say no. Maybe. But uh anyway. Seems like we're not intended to go up those uh slopes at all really. Unless uh there's something up here. I'm gonna guess not. I think we're Probably just supposed to go through the gate over here. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Okay, one dog. I can handle one dog. It's not a problem. Guess we can uh, get the magic out. Ooh, that was uh, it's a little spicy. Almost got, almost got, got there. All right. Got to check these extremely uh, dark corners here just to see. I guess this will give us a little bit of a heads up on any enemies that are going to be coming our way, such as... Roasted and toasted. Well, I mean, actually, literally the opposite of roasted and toasted, but you get the idea. I wonder if he can still jump at me when he's frozen like that. Not sure. Okay. A little bit of a wall there that we're obviously not supposed to get past, but maybe could with a little bit of finagling. <laughs> Instead, I guess we'll just go around like so. 
Just getting getting the lay of the land here. Got a gate over this way. Probably jammed. Jammed as they often are. Let's just double check that there's nothing in here. Doesn't look like it. So I guess we uh, we go around and go inside. Probably going to be some more enemies of some kind before we get in there, I'd imagine. Oh, we can almost get up, get up on that one. <laughs> can I open the gate from behind here? Oh, I heard you. But I also completely missed you. You're not dead? I don't actually know if, like, charging this up is a thing. Yeah, I guess maybe it is. Yeah, I mean, it makes a sound, so... I'm gonna continue under the assumption that, uh, indeed, yes, you can charge it. Alright, before we get inside, let's just take a quick... peek in these couple corners here. Seems like uh, there's nothing here, though. So, inside we go after Lisbeth, I guess. Well, that's not what I had in mind. Immediately uh, loaded into the area. <laughs> Somehow. Hopefully I didn't accidentally break anything. Well, they're definitely giving me some bullets, at least. That's nice. Oh, and we got... An amplifier over there that we would probably like to get. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Got right up on top of me. I heard, I heard something crunchy sounding. I was like, what is that? Oh. And what is this? Invoke. I guess we should check the journal for the for this one. Let's see. Causes creatures I have just killed to be brought back to life. This time to join my cause. Okay. We'll read the rest of that later, maybe. But we got the... Well, I guess that guy's pretty super dead. So we, get, we gotta get him before the... Uh, the thing wears off, I guess. Or the body disappears. Oh, I hear him. Yep, there's one. A little bit of damage there. I feel like I'm not actually hitting him. That one's gone. Please in invoke it. Oh, we died. <laughs> Can't skip the cutscene, huh? Okay, that's interesting, though. I, I guess if we were to amplify that, it would just make them uh, tougher by a bit. Ooh, okay, I guess I didn't save. Fair enough. We'll just redo this real fast. It'll only take a sec. Let's get this one guy who's going to come out of the, uh, the woodwork here. There he is. He actually literally comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it seems like. Spot him right behind the uh, the coffin thingy there. Okay. Save again, and uh, yeah, we'll. Where's the? Uh... No, it's over here. Um, yeah, we'll see if maybe we can put invoke to use here. Here we are. They can still jump at me, yes. Well, he's definitely doing his best. But, uh, he's not doing a lot. <laughs> okay. And now he has disappeared. Takes a full, uh... 
full charge of MP to raise one of those guys too. Maybe this actually makes it so we can get, raise like higher classes of enemies. I guess that's possible. Oh, there we go. He got one, I think. Not bad. What about you? Can I raise you? No. All right. So I guess there's no way that we're going to be able to get through this one, huh? Jammed. We're going to have to um, probably, I would imagine, go around. Let me try the... Uh, I wonder if I can. <laughs> wonder if I can hit myself with my own bullets. Uh, and you know what? Actually, we have a lot of health packs at this point. Should probably use one of those. I don't know if it's time for silver bullet ammo yet. Probably not. Maybe we'll stick with regular. And uh, let's. Oh, okay. I thought we had to crouch, but I guess not. But either way. So actually, uh, hang on. Just get, just gotta check. All right, down we go. Yeah, I can definitely 100% hear some bats. I don't know if they're gonna try to bite me or not. I'm gonna say jury's still out on that one. Oh, I think I actually got one. Can I raise a bat from the dead to make my very own little Dracula buddy? Possibly. There it is. <laughs> I feel this is probably not the most interesting thing to look at. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's keep that going. I don't see anything terribly interesting going on as far as the stone goes. Those skeletons? Those are actually skeletons. Hello. Have some cold damage. This game just got even spookier somehow. Oh. That didn't work. So maybe, yeah, you gotta amplify the spell before you can get the skeletons, or maybe you just can't raise skeletons at all. Hard to say. A couple coffins that I absolutely do not trust <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Waiting for those to pop open. Well, I guess, guess we're in the clear to get to the next area. Anybody else? Uh, nope, I guess we're good. I see anybody else wants some of the dragon, but I guess not. I do appreciate the health pickup. Or the, uh, the double health pickup, even. Okay, so that's obviously busted. Um, maybe... Aha! Okay, so we can definitely go that way, but what about the rest of these now? Gotta check them. Maybe the, uh, the... Ghost balls would be better for this uh, particular project. I don't know if those could have broken that or not. But we're almost done. Alright, so the rest of these... 
It seems like we're not getting anywhere with those. Let's take a look. What do we have going on down here? More skeletons, okay. A little bit faster this time, it seems like. As long as they don't spawn behind me, it's not that big a deal, I guess. Okay, you're out of here. I'm having a hard time seeing this guy. Here we go. Alright, I guess we go up. Well, I see you. But you're not, uh... Not rising from the dead just yet, huh? I don't believe you. Okay, so that's where we came from. I guess we'll just... Hang on. Hmm. wonder if it's going to be this old song and dance again, but it looks like there's something up there, for sure. But I can't shoot it off this time. Uh, how am I going to get up there, then? Oh, yep, hello. As expected. Oh, shit, they, he can throw his, uh, his spear through the grave. That hardly seems fair. <laughs> Alright, there's got to be a way to get up there to grab that scrolly looking thing. Okay. So, immune to damage, I guess, when uh, he's, a, he's a rising like that. Just going to do the circuit real quick. There you are, there's another skeleton. A little too early on that shot, I guess. Oh, a little bit too close to him. Or maybe not. I guess he can just... Oh, there's another one. Didn't didn't see the other one. Somebody had fun with those those kill animations for sure. Uh, maybe you should just try the bullets and or the magic on them. See how that does for us. All right, but, but not yet. You got to let them get out first. Yeah, this is really not doing much, is it? All right. Well, he's roasted and toasted, but at what cost? What? What? <laughs> Where the hell are they coming from? Like they're all they're all raising now. All right. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Bullets. Bullets not so good, I guess. Guess you got to stick with the uh, the other stuff. I'm still saving the amplifiers. I mean, we could use them, yes, of course, but gonna endeavor to save them for as long as I possibly can. All right, so let's try this again. There he goes. All right, he's out of here. Where are you going? Going straight to hell is where you're going, bucko. Okay. guy behind me there. Are these guys going to respawn forever, too? They might. Ow. Oh, they, yeah, they get back up. But, if we cast a Voke on them, they die, I think. Is how that goes. Let's use this for cover a bit. Yeah, okay, I gotcha. I see what's going on here. Oh, 
what a shot that was. Oh, it's going to take a minute. <laughs> Maybe he's not going to get back up. But just in case. There we go. Uh, Alright, so that cost a lot of health to learn that, but... I think it was a valuable lesson nonetheless. Um, we could kind of use, like, faster mana recharge. That would be lovely. Oh, no, you're going to get up now. Oh, there's another one. I don't know how he hit me, given my positioning there. I mean, that one, sure, fair enough. Oh, that was me just hitting myself. There we go, Jesus. Having a hell of a time... Hitting these critters. Okay. Using a lot of health packs in this little section here. Who's left? There's another guy over here. You gonna get up? Ah, oh, yeah, I hear I was gonna say, I can definitely hear one. Okay, you're dead. And now you're super dead. Got two more guys right there. Only one of them actually got up, though. Uh oh, uh, we'll just wait here for a second. Okay, I think we may have more or less done it. <laughs> I wander this place in peace now. Nope. Oh, okay. No, that was just my dragon doing dragon stuff. So how am I going to get up there to grab that scroll? I mean, it's not as simple as just, like, breaking this, is it? Doesn't seem like it. That doesn't seem to do much, either. There's got to be a way to jump up on one of these things somehow. Just gotta find it. Maybe here? Ooh, okay, yeah, we can get on this one. Oh, but we gotta take care of this guy first. Is he dead? He's not dead. Oh, there's another guy now. Alright. Whew. This place is nasty. I don't know if there's a way to, like, upgrade our weapons or not. I'm just gonna sit here for a sec so we can make sure this guy doesn't ever get back. Doesn't ever get back up like that. Stop that. Stay down. Might actually be worth using one of these amplifiers on our invoke spell to see if that, like, improves our life a little bit but uh, anyway back to the task at hand I believe we were promised a little bit of platforming <laughs> oh, too far actually hang on what about here this might be a little easier to work with yeah I go here and then we get up to here then what do you do maybe you go up to this one that might work yeah Platforming is not the greatest. Not the greatest by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot of momentum when you jump, so we'll slide right off that thing if we're not careful. No. Nope. Know that there's like a fly spell or anything. Oh, well, there's an extra health pack there. I'm just looking around. 
to see uh, if there's another potential path that I'm missing to get up there. Holy shit, I think I actually did it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to cut that together because that was a lot of saving and loading, but uh, here we go. Was it worth it? An arcane whirl. What does that do? Arcane whirls. Uh, these strange tattoos seem to heighten my ability to channel magic. Okay. Maybe that means we've got... Uh, Faster uh, MP recharge now. Now that I'm done with that, that took, section took way longer <laughs> than it should have. But uh, now that we're done with that, let's get a proper look around the, the outskirts here. I assume we need to take that boat, but just to do our due diligence, let's just take a quick pass around the outside of the uh, graveyard thingy here. I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming jumping in the water is death, but maybe, maybe not. That looked like that might have been a ladder there. Yeah, maybe our MP's recharging a little bit faster. We'll, uh, we'll read about the, uh, the arcane whirl later. Indeed, we can uh, swim for a bit. But only kind of. I can't, I'm like stuck. <laughs> so they really don't want you to swim far, that's for sure. You just get smushed up against the, the side of the thingy here. But we're here, so I guess let's take a look around while we can. I don't know if we have infinite breath or not. Sounds like maybe the answer is no. Alright, not looking like there's much out here. I'm being honest with you. Getting pulled under the, the briny depths out here. We've uh, broken broken the world at this point. So I can't see shit. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's uh, assume that there's nothing down there, and we'll be on our way. Now we're going to the monastery. Is Lisbeth going to be all the way out here? Kind of seems like a long way to go. And she's really been around the manor mostly, but I guess he did say she was like up on a hill somewhere, so anything's possible. Um, all right, well, let's just take a quick peek around out here. I'm probably, probably going to save here. And uh, yeah, they're not going to not going to let me play in the water, unfortunately. We would go through there, but there is a path over here as well. Let's just take a quick look at this. It brings us back to the boat. Anything of interest out this way? It seems like the answer is probably no. Yeah, we just got pushed right back onto the shore, pretty much. Uh, so, fair enough. This is where I wish we had a sprint key a little bit. So what 
are we looking for around here? Is this going to be the standing stones all of a sudden? Oh, I see you. Definitely see you. Oh, he's actually... He's going way out there. There's no way I'm going to hit him from here. Not with this <laughs> gun, anyway. So probably not even with the pistol. Here we go. He's coming back. He brought friends. These guys seem a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. All right. That guy can come with me. Actually, maybe can we do two? Yeah, the Arcane World doing some work for us, it kind of seems like. All right, what is this? That is a health pack, which I guess um, may as well use. All right, well, those guys didn't make it. That's fine. Just waiting for like 10 of them to come down from the hills over here. <laughs> it seems uh, entirely plausible. Definitely got something going on out here. Is that like zombies fighting the wolves? Oh, ow. Here we are. Oh, shit. What are you guys shooting me for? Yeah, dicks. These guys are the, uh, the Trasanti. Oh, well, a man did help me out there. I appreciate that. That was not great. I really should have used the pistol on those guys, probably. We do have quite a bit of bullet ammo at our disposal now. And these guys also drop bullets. Very nice. And we got a refill there. Hang on. You're telling me I can't carry any more bullets? I guess we really should have been using some bullets then. All right, well, let's check out this tower situation we got over here. Locked. We need the tower key. Okay. There's a couple different directions we should go. I have no idea which way is the proper way. It looks like this might be a dead end, so let's check this out first. No, it swings around. And there's something over there. Is that a donkey? Yep. Just a just a donkey and a journal entry. Don't you kick me. Doesn't seem like I can interact with the donkey. That's fine. I wish him the best of luck, but I don't like his odds out here. Alright, well, let's um, try maybe this first. I guess we're going to come back to the tower anyhow, most likely, so. Maybe we'll see what's going on out here. Incredibly stealthy. Can I actually sneak in this game? I have no idea. Guess we'll just ignore those guys for now. Building is uh, too big for its own good. Okay. This must be the barn, I guess. 
Should also check that journal entry. Let's see, what is that? Ingredients for something or other. We'll uh, read that a little bit later, perhaps. Right now, I'm trying to get an angle on these guys out here, but uh, not having much success. Won't budge. Okay, so that's super duper locked. I could probably avoid them, but I don't feel like it. Um, what do you think? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Greetings, gentlemen! Hey, I got that tower key. <laughs> I'm glad I came over here then. Took a little bit of damage there, but not too bad. Um, actually, hang on. Ah, uh, they're disappearing. I, maybe we can't raise those guys, though. Actually, here's a question. Can we raise donkey? <gasps> we can raise the donkey! <laughs> but why? Why can we raise the donkey? Shit! We're getting, we're getting sniped. Oh no, he's, this guy came back to life. Donkey, please? Oh, we can raise these guys as well. Well, that's interesting. Headshots do actually matter, it seems like. I mean, I guess I don't really feel great about killing that donkey. But, uh... It is what it is. Alright, let's see about getting into this. Jammed. Oh no, we can't get in there. So I guess we just have to go back to the tower now? Seems that way. Jammed. Because that's not going to open. Let's just, uh, we'll go back around the long way and just make sure that I didn't miss a door. Somewhere uh, along the wall here? I don't think I did. <gasps> Wait a minute. That was a little weird. I heard something. But, uh, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Maybe somebody inside? Is moving around? Entirely possible. Alright, well, fair enough. Let's get out of here. I guess maybe we'll have to come back sometime. I wonder if those bullets will still be on the ground. That would be, uh, convenient. Okay, so what's this tower? Oh, those bullets are still on the ground, so uh, there's a chance, maybe. Uh, so what's this tower all about? Let's see. Uh, I don't think we can go that way, though. I think we got to go back around the long way here. Oh, hello there. That'll do. Not going to bother to try to... Raise one of those guys. I am curious what's up here, though. Before we go into the tower. Maybe we could have gotten like a bird's eye view of their camp or something. No, I guess not. <laughs> I see. It's just going to be a big gate that's probably locked. And we probably need to go in the tower instead, huh? Ah, we get some silver bullets. Jammed. Oh, I saw the shadows. I was like, what is that? I learned the hard way that uh, that is them coming down from uh, the top of the top of the ropes there. To uh, do a little, little elbow slam action. You know what? We can probably uh, 
Oh, man, they really don't like me coming out this way. Um, I'm doing the wrong thing here. This is what I want. That's a lot of guys. Here we are. How did you hit me from there? I don't agree with that at all. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> See, where did I where did I save? Mm, should we try that again? I guess we we can try it again one more time. Uh, this time, though, no. we'll use a, the the cannon hopefully slightly more effectively. We may as well just use a health pack because we're probably going to need uh, need to use that anyway. Uh, but here, though, yeah, we'll just get that guy straight away. And then uh, raise him. Grab those. And uh, get uh, a better weapon out now. That'd be good. Okay. You guys out of here. So far, so good. It's going to be more, though. Yep, there they are. This is what I was afraid of. I, I said it earlier. Just waiting for the moment. Whoop, snuck up on me a little bit there. Looks like that guy's trying to attack me for some reason. Why are you trying to attack me? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm the guy who raised you. Oh my god, what just happened there? I can't see shit. Can he actually hurt me? I don't know. He better not be able to. He can hurt me! <laughs> what the hell is that? That's what I would like to know. What's going on there, game? Alright, we use a lot of those help packs we collected. But, uh, that was a fun little experiment that was worth it. Um, I suppose, uh, yeah, we'll check out this tower next time for now. Let's go ahead and read a couple journal entries. We've got, uh, got a few to go through here. Uh, yeah, Lisbeth's sighting. I finally spoke with the servant the maid uh, said had seen Lisbeth. He's convinced he saw her perched on a hill watching him. West of the manor, the family mausoleum seems to be the first place to investigate. Alright, invoke. The spell will cause any uh, creatures I've just killed to be uh, brought back to life this time to join my cause. Disturbing as it is to call the dead back, I'm afraid that if the scroll doesn't work correctly, I may be raising these devilish creatures only to have to fight them all over again. There's no accounting for what might happen should I attempt to use it on a living organism. So it can fail, and that's what we just saw. Interesting. Alright, the arcane whorls. These strange tattoos seem to heighten my ability to channel magic. They also remind me of the tattoos that Jasanti Shaman had when we fought him in the war. With these tattoos, I can feel the mana surge into my being, no doubt. The more of these I can find, the better I can battle these abominations. And then, uh... Objectives. We'll read the ingredients in a sec. Collect ingredients for the time... Okay. I guess we probably want to see what's going on with this. Uh, I can only hope that someone will find these scribblings of mine. Someone who can continue my quest for I may not be long for this earth. I seek a magical talisman, an evil weapon known as the Scythe of the Celt. I fear that this weapon has fallen into the wrong hands, and so I have undertaken a quest to find the site uh, before it was taken from this ancient monastery. Okay. Uh, you see, hard as it may be to believe, there is a way to travel back uh, to the days when this monastery was populated with the wise monks who first found the site of the Celt. These monks were versed in the ways of magic, and they had a portal which would allow them to travel across distant lands instantaneously, across distant times as well. I know not exactly where this portal is, but I do know that three items were required to open it. A golden medallion in the shape of the sun, a potion made up primarily of mercury, and finally an ancient scroll on which the incantation to open the portal was written. I myself have found this medallion and hidden it nearby, but the other two components elude me yet. And now, it appears, I will never have a chance to find them. I have broken my leg, and I fear that these strange dog beasts that roam this land can sense my weakness. They come closer with each passing of the sun. 
I fear they will soon attack. May faith be my armor, brother Jonathan McMuir. Well. So we're, uh... We want to enter the tower, but we also want to collect ingredients for the time portal. Sun Medallion Time Incantation and Mercury Flask. I don't know if we're supposed to do that before we enter the tower, or in the tower. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's that, I guess. When we come back, we'll see if we can find those ingredients and or see what's going on in this tower here.